Welcome to the International Racquetball Federation 18th World Championship. I'm Laura McCormick, and I'm joined by Team Bolivia's player, Roland Keller. Welcome, Roland. And mm -hmm. Tim Baghurst from the IRF. One of the most interesting things about you, Roland, a.k.a. Coco, for those of you who know him by his nickname. You're a very versatile player. We saw you at the Pan American Games in Toronto in 2015, winning silver, playing for doubles. And now at this event, you're playing singles. Can you talk a little bit about the decision that went behind that? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, uh, I think I was a little bit lucky uh, because I played the nationals in doubles and singles. But the final was between my brother and Conrado Moscoso. And my brother beat me in doubles, this time with Kadim Carrasco. But he decided to play just doubles because he think that that was the best for the team. And I'm a, I think I'm a good player in singles, so that's the best that he do for the team. Well, you also have another skill. Um, you're a coach as well. You're helping grow the juniors program in Bolivia. Can you talk a little bit about the coach's life and how you transition into that? Uh, exactly. Uh, I, was, I was helping the team, the juniors team, for a while. Uh, I think since 2010, maybe. Uh, I started this because my brother was a junior and I was helping him and some people talked to me and told me that they needed some help too. So, you know, I like racquetball. Uh, I have my passion for the sport and especially when it's about my country. So I started there and I keep, I keep doing it, this and I'm gonna keep doing it for a while. You know, Laura, one of the interesting things about Roland Keller is he's also an IRF official when he's not competing for his country. Being an official is an important part of this program. We developed officials over the last few years to come to these events so that they can make sure that the standard is fair for all players. And it's great having somebody like Roland there because he's a professional player. He's an international player and understands the game really well, understands what it's like to be in an environment where it's tense and hot and tempers can sometimes get too much for players and he understands that and so we don't have very many issues with our players at these world championships because we have people like him refereeing so we'll probably see him at the world juniors for example whether it be as a, a coach or as a referee but it's fantastic to have these referees here representing a variety of countries helping make sure that the standard is fair for all athletes. Well, that being said, with the Junior World Championships coming up, I don't know if we're going to see you there as a referee or as a coach. But either way, it seems like you're still going to be in the game in November for the Junior World Championships. In the meantime, I wish you the best of luck for the World Championships. And thank you for joining us today. And also thank you, Tim, for your input and giving us some information about the International Racquetball Federation. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to go to internationalracquetball.com for more information on the IRF.